what's up man welcome back to another episode and while you're watching this remember this i recorded this video last week right before the combine was getting ready to start so right now as you get this video the combine has ended so um i had to pre um schedule this video i was busy but um my my uh So how you doing? Welcome back to another episode. And before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know I pre-recorded this video. So it will be out after the combine. Um, I recorded this, I think, the first day of the combine. Um, I think it's the first day of the combine, I believe. I've kind of been behind. Um, but, yeah, and today we're going to talk about the defensive backs, Sauce Gardner and Derek Singley Jr., um, and that's because the Minnesota Vikings have a big need at cornerback. And we as fans, we all get all hyped up into the mock draft season and everything like that, especially during the combine. And what I did was I went along and just messed around with a mock draft just to see if these guys would even be available when Minnesota picks at number 12. So what you're about to see right here is the first 11 picks from my mock draft. And as you see... You go from 1 all the way to 11, and neither one of those guys are available. Now, I don't for one second believe that that's going to happen. Um, so, But it was fun to, to, to have a pick of the litter pretty much. Which one do you like better? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you like this. I love both of them. I love both of those guys. Um, I didn't. I wasn't on Sauce Gardner's radar until the very end of their season. They were being undefeated, so I started watching him play, and he really caught my eye during the Alabama game when he shut down Jamison Williams. I think Jamison Williams had minus a yard or some crazy shit like that. Um, but hey, man, Ahmad Sauce Gardner, Cincinnati, 6'3", 200 pounds. He ran a four four at the combine, and um, ran a four four at the combine. And um, one thing about him is that he's, some people compare him to Richard Sherman because he's long, he's a longer guy. And when you have Derek Stingley, who's 6'1", 6'2", 190, more of a physical guy, very, very fluid in this movement. There's a video going around of Derek Stingley Jr. one-on-one -on -one with uh, Jamar Chase. Um, and he just, <laughs> Jamar Chase didn't go anywhere. Um but you pretty much can close your eyes and pick which one you want, man, to be honest with you. Um, I will say, you know, it's, it's going to be very, very hard in that boardroom if it drops that way. I don't for one second believe it will. But if it came down to that, this is going to be hard to figure out which one you want over the other. Now, I will tell you this. Derek Stingley Jr. is not participating in the combine because he has a Liz Frank injury in his foot, which is a very, very serious injury and it would potentially take him off some people's draft board that's how really finicky these analysis and uh analysts are about um injuries and everything like that it, it should not derail his uh his career or anything like that it's just a lens frank injury is always known to be a very serious injury doesn't seem like it's anything so serious where he can't get back on the football field and well i don't know what time he'll be able to actually return to the football field hopefully um he gets to do um some workouts at their pro day lsu's pro day um sauce gardner man he has this really crazy stat that he has not given up a touchdown in his college career he didn't give up more than 13 yards to a receiver during this season so it's hard to pass that guy up but from the moment he came into college football, I was a Derek Stingley fan. I just love his physicality, the way he has that that alpha male mentality on the field. So does Sauce Gardner, but he came in with it as a true freshman. Like, yo, I got this. Was starting on that uh, championship team as a true freshman. Was a shutdown corner as a true freshman. Um, so I went ahead and picked Derek Stingley in this draft, more so because... To be honest, it made it easier because it, as much as I was having fun doing it, I, I just felt like 
I don't see Derek. I don't see Ahmad Gardner. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't see Sauce Gardner falling past like seven or eight, man. Like he, he's 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 going to get picked early. So that kind of messed with my mind as I was picking. So I, I just figured Derek Stingley would be there. Um, so I picked him. Also, you know, uh, who's high on my radar right now is David Ojabo, defensive end linebacker from Michigan. You know, I'm a Michigan fan. You see the picture in the background. I'm sorry, in <laughs> the background. Um, so, man, we'll see, man. It's all fun and games. Mock draft mania is about to go crazy. So, uh, yeah, man, Derek Stingley, Sauce Gardner, you compared the two. It doesn't really matter. They're both great players. See y'all next time, man. Peace.